We're on track to pass last year's record high homicide rate in Albuquerque, and it has people on edge. Many are taking their safety and their security into their own hands. News 13's Alexis Koneski explains. Jessica Dean, we're talking about guns, and many are buying them for the very first time. More and more people are buying guns, many for the very first time. It's a big increase. We're seeing about 50 to 60 percent of the of the people coming through our new faces. ABQ Guns near Coors in Montano said they have never seen anything like it. The owner, Arnold Gallego, says he's never seen this many new faces. We're seeing just cold people walking in the door. I don't know anything about this. I need some training. I need to find out what to do. I need to protect myself. Gallego says based on the feedback he's received, Albuquerque's crime is driving customers to his store. They're looking at, at the rate of crime, how much crime is actually starting to affect them in their neighborhoods here on the west side. Usually the west side's pretty quiet, and now uh, they're starting to see a lot of the neighborhoods that have typically been quiet for a long time are starting to start seeing a lot more uh, a lot more crime, a lot more personal crime, a lot more break-ins and things of that nature. The increase in new gun owners is being felt across the Duke City. Los Ranchos Gun Shop on 4th Street says on top of new faces, they're seeing a lot more women walking through the door. But the reality is women, single women, married women, um, are finding that they need to take care of themselves, that they can't rely on the police. We just don't have the police resources uh, to respond and people have to take action. And CCW trainers second that. Carlson Shooting Institute says since 2020 they've seen more new faces and women wanting to learn and it hasn't slowed down. It's been really busy. <laughs> uh, probably went up about fourfold in the last two years of new shooters wanting to come in. He says the increase tells him one thing, people don't feel safe. When seconds count the police are only minutes away so you're basically on your own at that point. So people have to learn to be able to take care of themselves. And the gun shops tell me first time buyers are most often looking to buy handguns. Back to you. Alexa, thank you. Now this trend is happening across the country. Data from 2021 shows that a fifth of all Americans who bought guns last year were first time gun owners.